agents to be successful in the shifting market, there are a few things that are super, super important. And one of them is to make sure and pay attention to the market stats. I'm Kim Barber with Kim Barber Group and EXP Realty, and I've helped thousands of owners and agents with real estate since 2004. Okay, there's some key things that we need to know, and there's two good sources for them. The first one is your local MLS, and the second one is your local association of realtors. You can also go to the National Association of Realtors, but quite honestly, our local clients are only gonna be concerned about what's happening in their community now, okay? So the stats that we wanna pay attention to are these, the active listings, the number of under contract listings, and the number of sold listings, okay? The active can include the coming soon if your MLS happens to have that. Again, coming soon and active listings, under contract listings, and sold listings, okay? So what we wanna do is pay attention to the volume, right? So if we have sold listings, which are let's say 500 in the last 30 days, okay? And then we have 700 coming soon, right? So that means we have a higher number that have sold recently, and then we have 40 to 190 under contract. That means that of 500 that have sold, we wanna add that active coming in the under contract and see where the scale is tipping to see if the supply is meeting the demand. The demand is the sold and the supply is the active and under contract, right? So that being said, pay attention to those numbers. The more you start thinking about it, and processing and looking at your market, the more it will make sense. At the same time, we wanna look at the average days on market. So this kind of coordinates with what I just mentioned with active, under contract, and sold. So the average days on market indicates how the market is meeting the demand, okay? So if we have a lot of listings coming on the market, but not as many going under contract and sold, it will mean that the average days on market increases. Okay, so that makes sense. I'm gonna say that again. If the average days on market increases, it means that the active and coming soon listings, along with what's going under contract, is more homes than the supply is demanding. Okay, so I've said that a couple ways. Hopefully it makes sense. Okay, so we have coming soon, active, under contract, sold. Average days on market. What we wanna do now is look at the average days on market for what's active, the average days on market for what's under contract and the average days on market for what's sold, right? So then when you look at that, it would say average days on market, let's say for active is 45. The average days on sold is like 30. And then under contract is 38, right? That means that it's taking longer to sell the homes, all right? So when you're sitting down with your clients at the listing appointment and we go through this with you, and with them, then what we wanna do is we wanna say, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, this is what's going on with the market. We have this many coming on the market, this many have sold. If coming on the market is 400 and there's 100 under contract and 500 are sold, it's a pretty even market, right? 500 available, 500 sold, okay? But then we go over and we look at the average days on market and then we're gonna see that the houses that have sold were sold in 30 days the average active listings are 45 and then the under contract are 38, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, the trend is in the under contract. And so agents notice that the trend is what's under contract, okay? Because if it's rising, that means that we have a demand that is slowing down to the supply. So that means that if the under contract is showing that the number is increasing, it means that the demand is slowing down or the active listings are coming up, it's the same thing. That's the really important thing to do when you're starting to watch the shifting market is to pay attention to those local stats, okay? So hopefully you have a good comprehension of the market stats. If you're not used to doing those, again, just get familiar, practice the scripts, run a couple of these. It'll become very fluid. And if you have some questions, comment below and I'll see if I can help you out. Okay, if you found this information helpful, do me a favor, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. This helps YouTube know that I'm giving you valuable content and helping you increase your success.